We're still waiting on the parliamentarian. No news, they say, is good news, I guess, or not necessarily. We don't know yet. We are waiting on her ruling on Plan B. Plan B is to change the registry date, to update the date for 245i adjustment that allows you to pay the penalty fee. If the parliamentarian rules yes, those two rules and possibly more that we don't know about will be put into the budget reconciliation deal that looks like it is coming together this afternoon. The Democrats, both on the progressive side and on the moderate side, they have been saying very positive things. They feel that they are getting closer to getting a deal. Again, on my birthday, Monday, September 27th, they want to vote on this. We are still waiting on the parliamentarian to see if the immigration will get into the vote on Monday, September 27th, maybe Tuesday, September 28th. They will have a vote shortly, probably early next week. What's interesting, which we didn't mention over the last few days about the parliamentarian, hmm. Elizabeth McDonough, do you know what she did? What, what did, what she did do? Elizabeth McDonough do? before she was the parliamentarian in the Senate. Very interesting and ironic at the same time. It's ironic then she must have been an immigration lawyer. She was an immigration <laughs> lawyer. Ex-immigration <laughs> lawyer, please, plays wow. key role in immigration reform. So Very you, ironic, isn't it? So you would think that she would be super down. Not for... necessarily because you could be an immigration lawyer for the immigrants or against the immigrants. And oh, we... in this particular case, she was a trial attorney for the U.S. Justice Department handling immigration cases. The trial attorney is the district attorney. They're the prosecutors. Uh, oh, in, so she was a prosecutor. She was a prosecutor oh, in immigration Lord. court, and she was basically a law enforcement mm -hmm. immigration oh, attorney. Okay. She also clerked for a Reagan judge, a Ronald Reagan appointed judge by the name of Royce Lambert. Now, as the parliamentarian to the Senate, she ruled against the inclusion of a minimum wage increase in Biden's COVID-19 legislation in February, a decision also that was a huge disappointment for the White House. She advised against incorporating amnesty just last week for almost 8 million undocumented people and essential workers in the budget reconciliation. As we said, her ruling was because the amnesty that they were including in the budget reconciliation was mm -hmm. brand new laws. new laws. And she said, you are not changing an existing law to increase budget revenue. What you are doing is you are adding new laws. And by the way, yes, it may raise income for the budget, but that's ancillary to you making a new law. That's why the Democrats went back with plan B they're amending existing laws. They're amending the registry date, which is an old form of amnesty. That registry date is right now, January 1st, 1972. They wanna bring it into the 21st century. We don't know the exact date. As we said yesterday, it could be January 1st, 2010, January 1st, 2015, January 1st, 2020, or some date in March of 2021, when we all went under quarantine for the pandemic. It could be any of those dates. And if you were undocumented, never obtained a green card before, and you were physically present on that date and remained in the US through the time you file an application for adjustment of status, because that's as easy as it is. You file adjustment, prove you've been in the United States for that period of time, you get a green card. Easy peasy. There you go. Much easier than essential worker amnesty. I like right. it. Yes. Okay, as long as they pick a good date. Right. And then for those people who may not be eligible for the amnesty, they are also amending the 245i, which allows people to get sponsored in jobs, people to get sponsored by their family members, even if they overstayed on their visa, even if they entered without inspection, pay a penalty fee and adjust their status here as well. So that can cover a lot of people as well. We are all waiting here on bated breath. Yes. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.